six things you can do with your stimulus check that you won't regret. <laughs> what up? You got Mr. Smith, 0.5 of Mr. and Mr. Smith in this brief video. I want to talk about six things that you can do with your stimulus, stimulus check that you will not regret. And the reason why I pick six is because the number that's being tossed around currently is $600. So a lot of times what happens is when people get a lump sum of money, whether big or small, typically it goes to a place that they don't remember. Like if you ask what all they did, they can go, I did this and I did this. But if you give it direction and you give it exactly where it needs to go, then I think it'll benefit you. So I want to give you six in the event that you decide, you know what, I'm going to take that 600 if that's the number you get, you know, if they hand it out anyway, or if they, if you don't receive one and you want to apply it to any amount of money or the 600, next $600 that you receive, feel free to do so. But with that $600, if that's what you end up getting, now you give six different opportunities to put your money in a place that you will not regret. So it's like spreading out the money more than you realize. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Number one, and I don't want this video to be too long. I want it to be short and sweet to the point, but I also give you some value from an education standpoint that I that I think can help you take that 600, but be left with more than just the 600 because that's the end goal. Now, first thing I want you to do with the 600, and some of these are cliche, some are not. Number one is save. Save 100. Take 100 of it and save it somewhere. Put it somewhere that you don't plan on touching. You just put it in a savings account or, you know, some type of separate uh, bank that you're not using regularly that you don't have a, a debit card attached to. Just save it. Just put it there. You know, it won't make money, but it'll at least be money that's untouched. And I want to go in a certain order. So I got my little cheat sheet here. The second thing that I want you to do is invest. So saving and investing are two different things. When you're saving money, you're just putting it in a location that you don't plan on touching. You're not expecting it to get a rate of return or grow or anything of that nature. You're just saving it, just stashing it. So almost like putting it under your mattress or putting it in a, you know, um, somewhere at home that you don't want to touch it. But if most, most money is digital now, so put it in an account that you don't plan on touching it. So that's saving. Investing, however, you have the idea or you plan to get a rate of return. Now, I will say this about investing. Investing can be risky, but it can also be profitable. It's not guaranteed that you will make money. You can actually lose money. But the fact of the matter is, it's better than saving in most cases due to the potential that comes along with investing it. And that needs to be a habit that everybody adopts. You need to be investing regularly, whether it's monthly, weekly, daily, whatever it is for you. Now, you want to invest. Now, what I'm going to do is link down below so you can get access to a platform where you can invest $100. But when you open up that $100 investment account, you also get two free stocks. And depending on when you're watching this video, like if you're watching now, you actually get access to four to six stocks just by starting your investment account with $100. So that's just a, uh, something for you to consider. But now you're taking $100 and you're investing it. Plus, you're getting some free money in the form of stocks. Keep in mind, those stocks can be sold and converting into money. So it's literally like free money when you get access to those two to six stocks. But when you open it up with $100, now you're able to take the $100 and invest it in something that can produce some type of rate of return. Invest in what you wish. I personally recommend something that spreads out your money, like an index fund, something that allows your money to be diversified, like an ETL, which is an exchange traded fund that has its benefit, like a REIT, R-E-I-T. I won't get into details on what those are. That's not what this video is. But put it in a place that it can diversify all in one investment. So that way you're not like, okay, I only have $100. Where do I put it to get the maximum result? If you spread it out in a fund that allows you to buy it, buy less than, a, use $100 to buy into it, then it can be beneficial that way. But click that link so you can get access to the free stocks and invest $100 of it. That's that. Number three. So that's number two. We got save, we got invest. Number three is give. And a lot of times this is easier said than done, but I really want you to not feel bad. Like I said, you will not regret these steps. I really want to set you up so that, you know, if you give, you automatically position yourself to put good karma out there. You put yourself in a position to receive just by giving. And sometimes it's harder to part ways 
with money. Trust me, I get it. By with parting ways, but by parting ways with money, it opens up and unlocks some of the abundance that's out there for you. Just because the universe understands, okay, this person is going to be a good steward with my tool, because that's all money is, is a tool. This person, person is going to be a good steward with my tool. I'm going to give them even more. And that's just how it works. It's been time where I give and I'm like, boom, got an extra deposit, got something unexpected, whatever the case may be. And it might not have been exactly because of that, but, you know, it's a direct correlation. So give to whether that's a nonprofit that you respect, that you love, that, you know, you love what they're doing. And you just want to contribute that hundred dollars, whether it's a charitable donation, whether it's a I mean, I, same thing. But uh, or whether it's, you know, uh, your your offering that you want to give to a, a religious establishment, you know, whatever it is for you, whatever giving look like for you, whether it's somebody you see in need, whether you want to pay it forward. Giving can be a matter of you seeing a family eating at a restaurant. You're like, you know what? I'm going to take this hundred dollars and I'm going to buy something for that family, paying it forward. That's a form of giving. Do whatever it is you feel. It's not for me to tell you how to use that portion of the money, how to give, because you might have something you're attached to, but give. And I think it'll help you out tremendously energetically and monetarily once you get in the habit of doing it. And I'm speaking to myself as well because that's something I want to do more of. I give, but I want to be in a position to give more and more and more and to the point where I give so freely, I honestly feel like I benefit more than a person receiving the giving due to the fact the good energy and the karma that I put out there not expecting anything in return. It's a difference. You're giving willy-nilly, but it's a bonus when you when you receive because you know that you're a good steward of your money and that energy is just, you know, bringing more of it to you. That's that. So we got number one, save, invest, give. The other one is, do I want to say it in that order? I'll say it in that order. All right. The other one is fun. Fun. Yeah, fun. So do something fun. With the money. So take $100 and do something fun with that money. Whether that's you get some fun out of just rewarding yourself or treating yourself to hundred to, to something that may cost under 100 or whether you do something to reward yourself but or you also buy something with it that may make you happy or make someone else happy. Buy yourself, your kids something or give your kids an experience with their $100. And I know it's not a lot that you can do with $100, so don't get me wrong. But do something that puts a smile on your face by having fun with it or just rewarding yourself some way, shape, form, fashion. Do something like that with it. Next up, I want you to buy something for someone else. Now, fun is for you. So I take that back. I know I kind of merged those two, but fun is for you, specifically for you. Specifically for you. Something that you feel, you know, like, hey, I can, I can buy this for myself because it, it's just a good feeling with saying, you know what? Let me put myself first for a second. So fun is for you. Do something fun or something that is directly for you. That's the other one. The next one is buy something for someone else. Buy something for someone else. This could be a kid, your child. This could be, you know, uh, your sibling, something that you would have did anyway. This is not like anything out of the norm. This is where most people are going to spend 100 percent of their stimulus. They're just going to buy some stuff. It could be groceries. It could be food. They're just going to buy some stuff. So this is where you use that money to buy something that you were going to buy anyway. You know, $100 could be towards groceries. It could be meal for a few days or a week, uh, you know, however often you eat. It could be you buying something for a kid, you know, just for one of your kids. This ain't the giving area. So this could be you buying something for one of your kids. Whatever it is, buy like most people will do. Understand, this is where most people will spend 100% of that money, but not you, not if you follow these instructions. And last but not least, and this is specific to this category. It may sound similar to one I said before, but I say this one for last for a reason, because this is one that I feel can give you a bigger return or the largest return on your money. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Take $100 of that, and invest into getting a business. I know I said investment. That's investing into the market, some type of stocks, you know, bonds, mutual funds. My personal recommendation is something in the in index fund arena. Like I said, index fund, ATL, REITs, something in that area. But when you buy a business or you start a business using a hundred dollars, it has the potential to create an infinite return. And if you're already in business, then great. Take that money and 
put it into your business, reinvest into your own business, whether you buy marketing material, whether you pay for ads, whether you pay for some type of marketing. But if you do not have a business, make sure you get your one. If you haven't learned anything about this year is there are definitely times where things will be uncertain. And in uncertain times, many people wish they had other streams of income due to the fact that they never know what their job is going to hand them. They never know what can happen in terms of their employment. So having an additional stream of income helps you health wise because it lets you know that you have option. It kind of it limits you from feeling boxed in or feeling like you don't know what to do. So you want to start that process as soon as possible. Invest in a business. There are quite a few things you can start with a hundred dollars. You may have a hobby or something that you love to do that you can take and buy some of the materials and then sell it. And then that turns into a sale, that turns into another sale. And now you're reinvesting the money that you earn back into your business. You may be able to start some type of online e-commerce business and that's just you having a storefront and you're selling certain products you may be able to start reselling so you're buying something at a low price and you're selling it at a high price you may go to yard sales goodwill whatever the case may be take the hundred dollars to start a business one that i personally recommend that you can get access to for a hundred dollars and it's a, an elite membership you can get started for less than a hundred bucks and you have a monthly fee that goes along with it but if you follow the instructions, the, the business will pay for itself month one to where that 100 you invested will never have to be reinvested out of your own money. It'll pay for itself if you follow the instructions. And it's elite, an elite membership. And the reason why I personally recommend it, of course, I got a biased opinion due to the fact that I'm a part of the business. But most of the time, the people who are anxious to get a stimulus check are some of the same people who don't have the best money practices, don't understand money, don't understand credit, don't understand investing, get a return on their investment. So if you can get access to a cheat code that allows you to understand money so that $600 is not something you're waiting on, it's something that you're creating on a regular basis, now you can position yourself to never have to worry about waiting on a stimulus check ever again because you're investing in a business that teaches that. The platform I'm referring to teaches that. It also teaches you how to save money from a standpoint of travel or going out or doing certain things that you would have been spending money on or getting rentals. It positions you to save money and make money off of the travel industry when people start back traveling. So it positions you for that. But the financial foundation is the key that helps you. It also positions you to get a DIY credit platform. What does that look like? Giving you a step-by-step -step blueprint on how to better your credit yourself, which is a gift that keeps on giving within itself because you understand the power of credit and what it can do for you and the leverage that you have. That's that. In addition to that, because it is a business, now what you need to understand is that, okay, you may not be a salesperson or somebody who you terrified of the word business. I get it. But most of the time, if you have a better understanding and some knowledge on how to go about sharing your business so people are industry, interested in your business, it goes a long way. It helps. This elite membership also teaches you marketing, teaches you how to market. Plus, you'll have our guidance, our assistance. we got a 30-day money blueprint of things that you could be doing to make sure you're understanding and maximizing your $100 investment, all because you took advantage and you invested in yourself. But now you position yourself to create money. So you don't want to always wait on money. You want to find a way to create money so you're not wondering how to go about cashing in on something that you might already have access to, whether it's a gift, whether it's an idea, or whether it's this system that you can give other people access to and you earn money on a weekly basis by doing just that. So I want you to get access to that if that's something you're interested in, but break your money up in those six different ways and I promise you, you will not regret it, especially that last one due to the fact that even though it teaches you about finances and all of those things and it can help you create money, it also is a tax deduction. So now you starting your business can be tax deductible. Get with your tax professional who understands the power of home-based businesses and you'll see how you can write thousands of dollars off legally in tax deductions if you understand how to do it if you're keeping proper records and you pass it to someone who understands how to file your taxes in a way that best benefits you. So just a quick recap of those six things that you can do with your stimulus, the $600 or whatever number it is that you get, number one. And let's see if I can say them in order. Number one, I want you to save. Save it. Put it somewhere that you won't touch it. That's that. Number two, I want you to invest it. Invest in something that can get you a rate of return. I have a link available below so you can get access to some free stock. Take the hundred dollars, do some great things, or put it in the area that has the potential to multiply. Number three, I want you to give. Find a charitable organization, pay it forward, put it somewhere that you know is just you 
throwing it out there. You know you're not getting anything back. You're not expecting to receive, but you put that good karma out in the atmosphere by giving a portion of it. Next up, I want you to do something fun, something fun with it that is for you. Basically, you giving yourself some type of reward, whether it's a pedicure, manicure, whether it's you buying something for your, your hair, eyelashes, if it's a female, if it's a brother, you know, a, a outfit, you know, top or bottom, a hat, whatever the case may be. Shoes, if, if you buy shoes under 100 like I do, whatever it is, do something for you. Last but not least, get your business. If you don't already have one, and if you do have one, the business that I mentioned can complement what you're already doing because it's in financial literacy and educating you on that. Of course, unless you already have a financial literacy business that does everything that I mentioned from teaching you how to market, teaching you how to do your credit yourself, save you money on travel and allows you to make money in the travel area and things of that nature. If you already had it, great. But if not, this can complement what you're already doing understand that and it's a tax deduction so spend your money up in those six ways and i promise you you will not be upset you will not regret it and that's what it's all about so that's all i got for this video let me know down below if you have some other ideas of what you want to do with your stimulus if you like my list if you hate my list i don't care like consider subscribing and uh hope you leave, you like it and i'll see you on the next video mr smith signing out salute